Measuring and understanding the overall levels of your track are critical at the final stages. Ozone 9 has all the tools you need built into it to get a decent understanding of what's going on. However, can be a little tricky to understand, set up and use. So in this tutorial, we're gonna go over how to measure luffs in Ozone 9. So let's have a look at our metering in Ozone 9. Our meter section is over here on the right hand side, right? Now at the minute, we can see it says peak and then it says luffs. This can be adjusted with the IO at the top here, okay? Now I want it on type integrated, but you can switch it to peak RMS case system whatever works for you if you want to see the momentary or short-term luffs you got those options there as well so when we pump some audio into it we can now see I've got my peak meter up here and we can reset them by giving it a click to see where we're at only a little bit of headroom but we've got it and below is our luffs measurement okay left hand side is our original right hand side is the signal after ozone all right so it's assuming all of this processing going on here and then we get the output so this particular part of the track, just playing that, integrated LUFS minus 12.5. Its original was minus 17.5. Now, if we've done that over our whole track and we find that the integrated LUFS is perhaps too high and we need to get it back to sort of the minus 14 range, when we adjust our maximizer here, we'll see an adjustment in those LUFS. So let's just stop it. We can see it's minus 12.7. We're just gonna reset that. and see, we get our full range back there. Let's bring the threshold on the maximizer right up. So it's maybe just touching it by a decibel and a half. And here we go. You can now see it's reading out more like minus 16, 17. If we play it for a bit of time, it's gonna ramp up because it's integrated LUFS, but eventually it will set. And we can see you know, a fair bit lower there. Now we can actually see this in real time. So if we bring the maximizer down now, start clipping, we'll see this start to ramp up quite quickly. And we can see the two lines here in between that's our range of where we are. And it's gonna start creeping up because we've just given that loads of extra level there. Now there's a couple of things that can trip us up in here. If we've maybe got a reference on, reference going through can cause an issue. And the other thing that can mess us up is gain match as well. So if we've got game match enabled, we don't want to be measuring our luffs that way necessarily. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Ozone and some of the other features inside it, you should check out this video next, where I explore the great features available to you in the imager and how to make sure you've always got mono in your low end, but you're able to still spread the high end without having any phase issues. I look forward to seeing you guys in that video.